Starfield has lots of perks, some of which are more useful than others. In this guide, we'll show you nine perks you should grab before anything else. Boost Pack Training. You'd think you'd get this one automatically since it's a basic piece of equipment, but you need Boost Pack Training to use Boost Packs. Once it's unlocked, simply jump again in the air to use your currently equipped pack. Piloting. If you want to use better ships, you'll need a few ranks in the piloting skill. The first two ranks allow you to use thrusters and increase your maneuverability, but the third and fourth unlock your ability to use ships with class B and C reactors. It's a shame when you board a ship, kill all the crew only to find out you can't even steal the ship, so take this when you're ready to move on from the frontier. Stealth. It's a bit of a meme at this point that the way everyone plays Bethesda games is a sneaky rogue stealth killing everyone before they even know you're there, but that's with good reason. It's incredibly effective, and you won't be able to do it in Starfield without at least one rank in stealth. This unlocks the stealth meter at the top of the screen, allowing you to see when enemies have detected you. Sometimes words are mightier than the laser pistol, and the persuasion skill will let you get what you want without bloodshed. Each option and dialogue has a chance of succeeding or failing, from green to red respectively, and this skill will increase your chances of winning them over. Weightlifting. Everyone likes to loot, and this skill will let you carry more junk around. Simple, sweet, and effective. Scanning. If you want to know what materials you can mine on a planet before you land, scanning is incredibly helpful. This will make setting up supply chains for your settlements much easier, and get you those sweet suit and weapon upgrades even faster. Spacesuit Design and Weapon Engineering Speaking of upgrades, these two skills will let you research and create better attachments and mods for your gear. Once you unlock them, just remember to head to a research bench to actually unlock their creation at other workbenches. Planetary Habitation this is more of a late game perk, but planetary habitation will increase the amount of outposts you can build and where you can build them. You can get up to 16 more outposts and be able to build them in extreme pressure, toxic, or heavy gravity environments. Stay tuned to the Gaming Trend YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks.